Roger Kaiser, West Georgia and Life University. Roger Kaiser coached West Georgia for 20 years, winning the NAIA National Championship in 1974. In 1990, he started the basketball program at Life University and won the NAIA National Championship in 1997, 1999, and 2000, and led Life to an additional appearance in the National Championship game in 1994. Kaiser was the NAIA National Coach of the Year in 1997 and 2000 and was selected to the NAIA's 75th anniversary team. He is a member of the West Georgia Hall of Fame, Life University Hall of Fame, the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame, the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame, the Georgia Tech Hall of Fame, and the NAIA Hall of Fame. Roger Kaiser, West Georgia and Life University, and inductee into the Class of 2020 of the Small College Basketball National Hall of Fame. get a little older, you get people asking you for more advice. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but uh, the question I got was, should an athlete play more than one sport? Absolutely. The next one that I got was, uh, when should they start playing? I said, play as soon as you can. I, I have been I have been blessed as much as any human being can be. I like to get out behind this thing more, <laughs> more than anyone else. First, first, the first thing I got to do, I got to give thanks to the selection committee for me being here and being in, inducted into the Small College Hall of Fame. Then I have, I have some dear friends. I have the Hambys, wherever they are. They came, they're West Georgia people, and they, they came down. I have my son and my wife. Uh, you know, the older you get, the more you appreciate. You appreciate. I appreciate the the ability that that say my father gave me. My my father was. Uh, I, some people call him a stubborn man. I call him an easygoing man. But he decided that uh, I shouldn't be running all over town with a basketball and a bicycle especially when it, we had a set time that we ate our evening meal, and it was 5.30. If you were not there at 5.30, you didn't get anything to eat because the rest of them didn't save anything for you. So my, my father being, as, as I said, a pretty intelligent man, he decided that I was nothing but a hound dog and around, I ran, I ran around all afternoon, uh, and, he, and I said, Pop, I said, I'm playing basketball. He said, all right, we'll, we'll fix that. You know what the man did? He built me a full court basketball in our backyard. That means you got basketball at each end, you got a place to run. And I said, if you're gonna do this, don't get it, so fix it so we can shoot layups. And he looked at me kind of funny. I said, look, if you only have one pole and you go in and shoot a layup, you know you're going to hit that one pole. So, so make the two poles. And then I, I mean, also along those same blessing, he did that. And of course, guess what happened? I didn't run over town anymore. But he didn't realize that the town was going to come to his yard <laughs> because the basketball came, came to our place. And, and you can think now, the, 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 the joy I've had of playing basketball, first thing I got was an education. I got more of an education than I thought I wanted. When you go to Georgia Tech and you're going to an engineering school and you're not majoring in engineering, they don't care. For two years, they don't care. But here again, I have another one of the blessings I had the blessing to say, hey, you're going to do this. You're going to get it done. You're going to graduate from Georgia Tech. Now, the next thing was, is what are you going to do with that Georgia Tech degree? Uh, you know, we, we, had, we had a few problems. When I was in high school, I played on a very good high school teams. 
Um, basketball team was, was great. I played as a freshman, sophomore, junior, and a senior. And uh, the amazing thing was I liked every one of my coaches. One coach lasts two years, the next one lasted one year, and the next one lasted one year. And I thought, and I said, there, there's something wrong here. These, these were all good coaches. Uh, they said, no, they didn't win their last game. Well, I decided right then that Roger Kaiser was not going to be a basketball coach. I didn't like the odds and, and of, of the winning and the losing and how quick you lost your job. So I said, one thing I will do, I will never coach. Well, it wasn't long because that's, I, I coached for 50 years. I coached for 50 years, enjoyed it all, um, had so many good things happen, met so many good people. I was gonna take over the, I, I was gonna take over the business world I had, I had two job offers. I had one from General Electric and one from Procter and Gamble. And both, both of them said, well, you're, you're, you're gonna graduate, you're gonna be fine. We're gonna hire you, General Electric's gonna hire you, and you will go to a training program for three years, and you, we're gonna move you to Schenectady, New York. Well, I'm a small town Dale, Indiana guy. And I said, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. They said, Roger, you can't say you're not gonna go, or we won't hire you. I said, well, I'm sorry. So he said, okay, he said, I'll tell you what you do, right? This guy was a friend of mine at GE, and he said, why don't you find your other company you like and see what, how that works? I said, Procter & Gamble. I knew that's Cincinnati, I'd be close to Indiana. I go up there, they give me a job offer better than the GE, I'm really living high. He said, you're going to Des Moines, Iowa. I said, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> he said, well then, you're gonna have to get on another world and, and see how it works. Well, would you believe that uh, I found a basketball job the American Basketball League, they were gonna pay me good money, they wanted me bad because I could shoot the three-pointer. Uh, you wanna know, any idea where that, te where that team was in Washington, D.C., and I was very happy about that, I'd go to Washington, D.C. It wasn't long, I'm sitting in an airport in Pittsburgh, they come and tell me that I have met Pittsburgh, and I have been Pittsburgh, get ready to go to Hawaii, and they said, all right, Roger, he said, uh, got some news for you. The team is not gonna be in Washington, D.C. anymore, it's moving to Comac. Do any of you know where Comac is? It's not in Alaska, which I thought it probably was. No, it's in New York. So I'm back in New York, that didn't, that, that went for long, and then the guy, the guy that uh, owned the club said, Roger, I want you to go to work for me if you're not gonna play basketball anymore. I said, no, I'm not. He said, I want you to work for me. So you, and I said, well, I, I'm not gonna live in New York. He said, no, you can go anywhere you want to in the country because I have accounts in all the, all, the, all the states. He said, where do you wanna go? I said, Indiana. He called back and he said, what do folks in Indiana do? I said, well, no, he said, I said, they got a lot of farmers. He said, I do not have a single account in the state of Indiana. He said, would you go to Georgia? I said, yes, I would. I would go to Georgia. And so that's how I got back in Georgia. And how I got back in the coaching is too long a story to tell you, it's not that important. But I can tell the rest of you here that I want you all to play sports, Get your younger brothers and sisters to play sports, play more than one, and it'll work out for you. I have, as I said, I have been blessed. I didn't have to coach. You know, everyone, every, I always thought that I was going to the University of Indiana. You know, that's what people in Indiana want to do. Uh, didn't work that way. I thought, well, 
and, you, and so I, I, I visited Indiana. Uh, I told you I was a two-sport athlete. I visited Indiana, yeah, we'll give you a scholarship, da, 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 da. So I visited Louisville, same thing, we'll give you a scholarship, don't worry about it. Next one, we'll give you a scholarship, Vanderbilt, don't worry about it. Western Kentucky, don't worry about it. Guess what? I, go, I say, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to visit Georgia Tech. I've never been on a commercial airline. I'll never be back in Georgia, so I'm going to visit. Uh, I get down there, and the first person that the basketball coach takes me to is the baseball coach. Do you realize other four schools? I never met the baseball coach. So I said, I think that I, I'm probably going to like the South. I may not necessarily like the engineering part, but I think I'm going to like the South. And things will work out like that for you. Just try that much harder. And, and since people would do that something for me, then I gave the best I ever had for them. Uh, it, it, was a, it was a wonderful, wonderful thing. It, it, the, worst, the person that got left out was my girlfriend and my wife to be Beverly because she got left in Lincoln City, Indiana for three years. And you know what? You know you got the right wife picked out then when they'll wait three years for you. And she did. So as I said, I've, I've been blessed. I've, I'm in a, in a Hall of Fame. I've been blessed as an athlete. I've been blessed as a father. Uh, somebody said, well, how'd you get so big? I said, well, I came from a I guess a big family. I came from an athletic family. My father played basketball. My mother played basketball. My sister was the tomboy. In her day, she couldn't play anything because there wasn't any women athletics. So I came from people that loved the game, and I love it. And uh, I love being here, and I love being a part of this Hall of Fame, and I appreciate that very much. Thank you most much.